What's happening guys? Today I'm gonna to teach you how to set up and use multiple stinger transitions to give you a better live stream experience. Stick around. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Jason from Overcast TV and today, as promised, I'm gonna show you how to set up and use multiple stinger transitions. If you're wondering what a stinger transition is, uh, you actually just saw it. It is those little things that happen right between scene transitions and they just are a great way to help reinforce your brand and just make the stream experience look a lot more professional for your viewers. So I'm gonna show you guys how to set up and use multiple stinger transitions and uh, they're pretty easy to make. You can source these things online or if you have some motion graphics experience, obviously you can make them yourself. Uh, with a shameless plug, I will say, we also have them available to get over on overcast.tv. So do head over there if you see anything in this that you think is exciting. But with that, uh, let's get into this and let me show you how to work this. So it's actually really easy to do. Um, I've got mine set up over here in scene transitions, but you can uh, find them by going up to view and going into your docs and pulling up scene transitions if you don't see that. So anyhow, um, from there, you can see I've already got one configured here, but let's go ahead and add another. So Clicking into that area, I go down to add a stinger. And in this instance, we're going to add the speaker bump in uh, transition. I'll tell it OK. And then uh, we want the transition to stay in milliseconds. And I set these all up to transition at one second which is a thousand milliseconds. So we'll go ahead and set that up. Now I'm going to actually browse for the file here and I've got a folder full of them. So I'm gonna select my speaker bumping transition stinger, tell it to open. And then we can go over here and, and scroll down a little bit. There is no audio in this, but if you are not maybe doing a DJ live stream and you want to use some sort of whoosh sound or something like that in it, if it does have it, you would activate it here, uh, but if there's no audio for it, you don't need to do anything with that. I haven't set up any of mine with audio. So you can preview the transition by clicking this button and it will show you what it looks like. That looks great. So we're gonna go ahead and tell it okay. And here we are back in the scene. And now you can see when I go over to my scenes and I transition to the next one, everything stays nice and on brand and uh, within the color palette. Now, obviously this has to be designed to stay within the color palette, but if you've got some that are not done to do so, you can still use them. Additionally, I did promise to show you guys how to use multiple stinger transitions. So I wanna do that now. Um, from there, we're gonna go back into our control panel. Again, that would be the same thing, go into views, docs and find your controls and then from there we want to switch it into studio mode now you can see that there's two screens now what's happening on the left monitor is the preview and what's happening on the right monitor is what is actually happening in, in your stream so you can see here when i switch to number uh, scene number four over on the left monitor it just has that and then you can see you've got your options for different transitions here. There's your regular fades, there's uh, additional stingers here, and then you can just add one by clicking the little plus and then uh, selecting it from the sidebar menu here. So we'll do speaker bump and transition. And then you can activate that either by sliding this thing over to the right or just clicking the button like so. As you can see, it's now loaded up the next one and this is what's happening on the second program now if we switch out of studio mode this is a little more difficult to do on the fly but you can also do it this way if you don't want to use studio mode you can just go back and select the different ones uh, so that when you change scenes it plays the different scene transition but uh, that does become a little bit of a nuisance if you're also trying to dj while you're doing it so i suggest using the speaker mode uh, using the the studio mode to make it most easy to set your transitions and switch between scenes. So I hope that was super valuable for you guys. Uh, if it was, be sure to hit that like and subscribe. Uh, click the little bell notification if you are on YouTube. And of course, follow me everywhere. It's uh, overcast.tv on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Uh, if you want to catch my Twitch channel, it's overcast underscore TV. And of course, if you are interested in any of the graphics that you've seen on this, um, you can head over to overcast.tv. And uh, we, can, we do have these things available for purchase over there. But in the meantime, 
If there is anything else you guys are struggling with with OBS, drop me a comment below so that I know what to make tutorials for you guys for. And I will work on putting together videos to help you make a more lit DJ live stream experience. Again, guys, this is Jason from Overcast TV, and I will see you online.